forgot what I was doing. Ford Fusion. Brake pads for the rear. Pretty easy job. You do need a special tool though. One of these. Some people show you using other methods to compress the caliper piston in these. Those are dumb. And you need one of these. But don't freak out because most all auto parts stores will just loan them to you. You have to put a deposit down, but they give it back when you return it. So just get one. Don't fiddle with pliers and stuff. That's dumb. Or just buy one because you'll probably need it again in the future anyway. There you go. Before you press any calipers with your little tool, and this is, this is true for any car, you need to, um, it's a good idea to take off the brake cap, your brake reservoir cap there from the master cylinder, and lay a rag over it while you're doing this, because you never know who has put brake fluid in your car, just from, you're not supposed to put brake fluid in it just when the pads are getting low, naturally the reservoir is going to come down. And not a lot of people realize that, so we put brake fluid in it, and then when you go to press the pistons in on the calipers, it tries to force brake fluid out of places where it shouldn't go. You might blow a seal, you might wound your master cylinder reservoir. Take the cap off, put a rag on it, press all your pistons in. Then put Right, you know the drill on this part. Jack it up, take the wheel off. On some of these fusions, they're getting older. And they're getting a little crusty through here. Don't jack them up on the pinch well, cause you're probably just gonna crush it. There's a little bit of there's a little bit of frame back over here you can use. Well, this this car obviously hit something at some point. But anyway, do that. Caliper. This one's got the parking brake mechanism right on these. So uh, yeah, 14 millimeter bolt there, 14 there. Break them loose if you're really strong. You just break them loose with your hand lying i did that earlier but these don't have a lot of torque on them remember that when you put them back in do not crank on these they will break get one out that one out these don't have much tension on them usually just pop right off there you go pops off there you go see that special little thing the piston in these is kind of weird. A lot of cars are like these now, but this is where you use your tool because you actually have to spin that in, not just squish it. I'll show you how. Your caliper service tool will come packaged like this. First thing you want to do is check which one of these little discs fits into your piston. In my case, it's a 7. See these little, little notches? The little feet fit into them. Make sure you got the right one. There you go. They don't fit super snug, but good enough. So we know that's a seven. Fits right there. Got your tool. Want to mount your seven right there, or whatever yours is. See, it just clicks right under the end of that with magnets. Next thing you want to do is take this shoe thingy, slip it, slip it over. All the way down there. You fit this whole mess inside the caliper. Bear with me for a minute. All right, see, all goes right inside there. And what do you want to do next? Is spin this to put tension lefty, lefty on this to put your tension on until that's, you know, decent enough tight. And then we are simply going to crank this and it'll spin and push on the piston at the same time. And watch out for these, these rubber boots. When they're this old, they get, they're pretty lousy anyway. I'm just gonna squish it in there, it's my mom's car. But um, yeah, every couple of turns, you're gonna have to tighten this just a little bit more while you're, while you're turning it. I don't, I don't know if I can do this one-handed. They, they tend to have a lot of squish to them. Here, let me try. No, need two hands. All right, so I'll, I'll turn that in. Turn it. Tighten. Turn 
again. Tighten. Do that until it's all the way back down. You gotta kind of fiddle with this boot. <laughs> they like to twist, but then again, they kind of untwist too, so when the piston comes out, so it's whatever. If you don't like your boot being stupid looking, you should probably just buy a new caliper because those don't correct easily. Yeah, keep doing that. Okay, so it's spun in as far as it wants to go. Yeah, the boot's a little twisty, but it isn't gonna hurt anything. Next up, take your pads out, and these, these are like little, little safety clips, and just kind of, get your screwdriver in there, and whop, it'll pop out. You can see, in my case, suckers are looking pretty sad. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's where the noise was coming from. Obviously. The pad goes in the same way. Oh, that's an old pad. Your new pads will probably have these little floppy backs on them. And they like to pop off when you're uh, when you're installing these. Kind of frustrating, so just keep, keep an eye. Make sure your little floppy back doesn't pop off. Right on. Easy. Do the other side. And we'll slip the caliper back on. And one thing you want to check on this is the the slide pins where your bolts went into initially. Hey, they're supposed to have a they're supposed to have a whoop. Not that much motion, but yeah, there you go. They're supposed to have motion to them. Hey, this one nothing. It's probably why that'll make your pads wear all kind of prematurely, which is probably why mine did. So we'll try to cure that. There's a little boot on here. You can kind of pop it off. There's lots of crunchies in mine. I'm taking spray it hardcore inside that boot with some uh, penetrating oil. We'll wriggle it around, see if we can get it free. I have to encounter this, but mine is super stuck. So I end up uh, taking and sticking a pair of vice grips there behind the, the head of the bolt and beating it out with a hammer. It's working, so something, something, got a little corrode in there. I'll show you when I get it out. It's pretty much just caked with crunchy weirdness. But a PB blastered it, <laughs> or penetrating all. Shoot more into this hole. <laughs> Which I've already done, and just kind of work it in now. It'll eventually get all that junk out there, and then you're gonna wanna grease this pin before you put it back in. Oh, obviously I took the boot off of this, but yeah. It's going in and out now, it just needs thoroughly cleaned. There you go. Eh, eh, eh. I'll clean that up. Put a little grease on it of your choice. They're special caliper pin grease, but whatever works. Thing right. The caliper should slide right over your new pads. If it doesn't slide over, you probably didn't push the piston in far enough. But uh, you have to pull these back a little bit when you slide these over most likely put my bottom bolt in already now when you're tightening these I'm serious about this part do not tighten these very tight they don't need to be about like this you can get a little resistance. Give about a quarter turn. That's it. Don't wrench on those. They will break. Do the top one. What well, you're not done. Go ahead and uh, put your master cylinder cap back on. 
cool. Make sure it's on there tight. Before you go anywhere, pump the brakes up. Because you're going to look like a fool when you crash if you don't. Right, pump them up till they're good and hard. Turn the car on and do it again. I'm not upside down, my wheel is. There we go. Pump them some more. Do this with any caliper work, front or rear. There you go. Brakes are hard, now you're ready to go.